Right. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, it's uh, Philip from England, and this is a free webinar that I'm doing about the uh, <coughs> a free webinar I'm doing about the uh, IELTS exam. So, if you have a, if anyone has a question, please go ahead and ask. I'm happy to answer. Right. Um, what I'll just do is I'll start with some uh, tips. Uh, if nobody is uh, asking uh, any tips, uh, I will go ahead and uh, or if nobody has a question, I'll just go ahead and uh, give my own uh, questions, comments. Okay, uh, so let's uh, uh, just quickly introduce myself first of all. Uh, this is uh, Philip from England. Uh, my website is onlineenglishteacher.com. I'm a UK native speaker and I have been teaching English online for uh, over 10 years. And I first started teaching the IELTS by Skype about eight years ago. So if, uh, if anyone has a question about the IELTS, Please go ahead and ask, and I'm happy to answer. Uh, I don't know everything, but I've been teaching a lot, and it's not that complicated, <laughs> you can see. Right, okay, let's start, and let's start with some tips, and if anyone has a question, please do go ahead and ask, uh, and I will uh, try to answer. Okay, uh, so the uh, first tip uh, that I will give is, um, let's see, let's start with the um I'll start with the uh, uh maybe today I start with the um with the uh, uh, uh start with the uh, speaking exam I think we'll start today um so basically for the uh for the IELTS speaking exam um the first thing I would say is very important is make sure to do a lot of practice now actually um the one of my students she just passed um with a grade 8 and uh, average sorry uh, uh, yes a grade 8 average and um let me just find her um try and find her on uh, where is her grades here uh, yes, anyway, one of my students, she just passed with a grade 8 average. I've also had a student go from, I think, 5.5 .5 to 8.5 after my classes. And maybe they had a little bit more help also. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, so anyway, I have I have had some uh, students getting a reasonable success, uh, at least uh, hopefully part, partly due to me. And the student who actually just passed uh, with 8 average, they uh, failed it three times before me. Anyway, okay, let's go have some tips for speaking. So the first tip for the speaking exam is make sure that you are uh, make sure that you are speaking as much as possible um, basically uh, so make sure that you're speaking make sure that you speak as much as possible uh, right so I've got a, a like from Oh, I, I don't know if I'm going to try and answer, pronounce this one. It looks too complicated for me. I'm not very good with foreign names particularly. So is it Kozachi or something? Uh, probably completely different or something. Uh, thank you for that. And uh, yes. Uh, okay, so uh, hi, everyone. Uh, this is Philip from England. And uh, if you have a question about English, please do go ahead and ask. And uh, I will try my best to to assist you with that uh, about the IELTS specifically we're talking about today. Right, I'm just going to give tips about the um, uh, speaking exam. So the first tip for the speaking exam is uh, try to uh, hang on, I'm just going to send a message to someone who's just messaged me on Skype. Are you there, Clariston? Maybe you're watching at the moment. <laughs> I don't know. Right, uh, so um, yeah, so basically uh, oh, hi, Clariston. Right, you're here. <laughs> so I guess you're listening. Uh, right. Uh, let's see. Analyst Warranty and Service at Suzuki. Oh, famous company. Right. Okay. 
So hi everyone, uh, it's Philip from England. I'm a UK native speaker and I have been teaching English online starting from about 10 years ago. I'm an art specialist also. Right, uh, so right, you're listening in Clariston, excellent. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead with some tips. However, if anybody has a, uh, like a question they would like to ask, please do go ahead and ask. And you know, I've been teaching English online for over 10 years and also uh, teaching um, IELTS online starting from about eight years ago. So I don't know everything, of course, uh, for IELTS and definitely not for English generally. However, I do know something, <laughs> hopefully. Um, and I have helped students uh, to get a grade eight average. And uh, my last student just got a grade eight average, seven minutes, uh, at least seven each section. And she'd failed at the IELTS three times before and passed first time with me. So there we go. I was, maybe I was, we were both surprised <laughs> by the result, but the result is the result, right? So there we go. Uh, right, okay, uh, right, let's go ahead uh, for uh, tips for the uh, for the IELTS exam. So I'm going to give uh, the first tip for, uh, and by the way, if anyone has a question, please do go ahead and ask. And also, oh, check out my website. My head's in the way, onlineenglishteacher.com. My name's Philip from England. I'm a long-term English teacher. Right, uh, first tip about the um, uh, speaking exam. So basically, you uh, speak as much as possible. Um, it's uh, speaking is a little bit like tennis. You know, you can watch a lot of videos about tennis and read books about tennis. And um, however, the best way to get good at tennis is to practice tennis, right? So you can go to the gym, you can go for a run, you can read a book, you can watch a movie, you can interview someone famous, anything like that. But the best way to get good at tennis is to play tennis. Now, the best way to get good at speaking um, is to practice speaking, obviously. And the best way to get good at art speaking is, obviously, it helps to do uh, practice art speaking. Uh, so, um, what I recommend, anyway, is try to have regular practice, uh, like every day is best, if possible. Um, and if that's not possible, you know, if you can't have can't get a teacher or for some reason or you know just try to speak uh, English with your colleagues with your friends you know try and use English as much as possible and also another option uh, if that's not possible or maybe you just prefer it also is uh, record your voice so listen to an native speaker speaking and then record your voice and then listen to the same text now there's a free website it's called uh, Euronews uh, I'm not sure how to spell that exactly. I'll just try to do that here. So uh, Euronews.com. Um, so basically, uh, I guess I'll put that in the group chat here. Um, I guess that's correct. Um, and basically, that's a news website which has text and audio. So basically, what you can do is you can listen, you can read the text and then listen and then um, you can uh, record yourself and compare how do you sound, right? So, there we go. Right, okay, uh, very good. Um, so, let me see here. Uh, oh, I'm going to add you to my friends, Clariston, although we're not really friends, I guess you could say. we just just spoken on Skype, but... Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, right, add, oh, hang on. add to friends, perhaps. Um, let me try and do that. Um, right, okay, uh, very good. So, uh, now I'm just waiting to see if anyone has a question. If you do have a question, please go ahead and ask, and uh, I am happy to answer. Okay, uh, the next question I'm going to, uh, a topic, a tip I'm going to speak about for speaking is, um, think about how native speakers speak. Uh, a native speaker would say something like, can I have, a, uh, well, a non-native speaker, this is an exaggeration, by the way. A non-native speaker would say, can I have a piece of cake? And a native speaker would say, can I have a piece of cake? Like, we kind of link the sound. So it's, can, it's not, can I have a, it's, can I have a piece of cake? So we're linking the sounds together. And there's a very interesting website for that, if you want to check it out. Uh, this is my favorite topic in English, perhaps, uh, although I do also like grammar, is linking speech. People are probably thinking, how can you, maybe the, some, someone's thinking, how can you like 
<laughs> English. It's my job. I like it. So there we go. I just kind of, I don't know. People who cook food, they like they like food. People who teach English, they like English. So there we go. Uh, right, I guess. Something like that. Right. Um, or oh, maybe everyone likes English. I don't know. Who knows? But I, but I like it. Even though I'm a native speaker, I do like English. Right. Okay. Uh, here is now. I'm trying to see if there's any messages um, that come in now. If anyone has a question, please do go ahead and ask. And otherwise, right. Here is the link. I'm gonna send a link at the moment for linking speech in English. So uh, here is a very useful website, um, and I'm gonna paste that here. And I really recommend that. You know, it's a bit long term. So if you've got like you know, one month to or two weeks to improve, maybe you're not going to kind of change so much. But, uh, okay, so basically, I can give an example from this website uh, on the second page here. They have, they have an example here. Can I have a bit of egg? So a non-native speaker would say, can I have a bit of egg? And a native speaker would say, can I a bit of egg? <laughs> if you're speaking very fast. So... Anyway, sorry, I shouldn't. I shouldn't laugh at my at my own jokes, right? Isn't that the first the first rule of making joke is don't laugh at your own jokes, <laughs> or it's not it's not a joke, but it's just something funny. And uh, I think actually a lot of students who I teach they do find it funny as well when I say that. Okay, so uh, non-native speaker would say, "Can I have a bit of egg?" And a native speaker would say, "Can I have a bit of egg?" Oh, hi, can I have a bit of egg, please? That's kind of maybe super high speed, but this is to show the uh, uh, perhaps a little bit uh, high speed. Anyway, so look at uh, linking speech. Uh, also, for uh, the speaking exam, think about the first section questions. So, uh, for example, uh, you'll need to uh, you know, think about if they say, where are you from? What are you going to talk about? You know, what are you going to say? What you can actually do is write down your answers and get a teacher to correct it. But don't you know, memorize it in the exam. Uh, I'm not sure if they say on say there's actually a, clearly an error for memorized answers. Certainly there is for for writing. I've heard about that. Uh, but in any case, you know, obviously it would uh, be a risk, or if not, certain penalty if it looks like you memorized it, uh, perhaps. So anyway, uh, well, I'm not an examiner, but anyway, there we go. Uh, or maybe maybe she know that. Anyway, uh, but basically, don't look as though you memorized it, and I don't recommend memorizing it. Just sort of just uh, you know be just uh, think about. Um, you know, think. Oh, hi, Alar. Uh, from Libya. Oh, it's a student. <laughs> okay, you're one of my students, right? So there we go. Right. Finally, you found one of my found time for one of my webinars, right? <laughs> so this is uh, actually a student I'm teaching in 15 minutes. Don't. Okay. Um, don't don't worry. I've checked. I've checked your writing homework. Your your typed homework. Okay. Um. Right, okay, uh, very good. So, uh, the next uh, tip for uh, speaking is uh, uh, practice making 15 bullet points. Uh, so, basically, um, for the task two, try and make 15 bullet points. And uh, uh, so, basically, um, you know, and then you can use like one bullet point for half, one, or two sentences, or something like that. One of the big issues for uh, the speaking exam is that uh, people don't um, people don't um, they're, they're kind of thinking what they're going to say and then they've got to think about the English. So it doesn't compute with some people if their English isn't high enough no, uh, high high enough level. So basically, um, think about the yeah. So so if you make bullet points, then you can. Uh, you know, focus on the English and not have to focus on the data so much. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, right. Anyway, so there we go. So there's a uh, there's a tip there. Uh, right. Uh, the next uh, the next tip is uh, for the IELTS uh, uh, speaking exam. Uh, um, just understand it. You know, there are three sections. There's the introduction. There is the uh, which is the, like a warm-up section, and then there is a cue card, which is so, um, and, and you need to speak for about one to two minutes, one minute preparation time, and also there are follow-up questions. Um, another tip for the IELTS speaking exam is um, another tip for the IELTS speaking exam is um, 
<clears throat> uh, try try to change uh, the vocabulary. So uh, basically, uh, you know, if they say, "What is your favorite food?" Uh, they don't say something like, "You know, my favorite food is." Uh, instead, you could say, "You know, I like going to a uh, a restaurant." You know, a person speaking uh, so uh, for, for myself, I like you know eating Spanish food. You know, so uh, Spanish cuisine. You know, just try and change the vocabulary so you're not repeating their vocabulary. Um, also, what I recommend is think about phrases you can use for starting sentences. So, um, basically, um, uh, phrases for starting sentences like you know, personally speaking, thinking forwards. Uh, sorry, thinking backwards, looking forwards, uh, anything like that. Okay. Uh, right. Um, let me see here. Uh, right. Uh, hi. Uh, uh, right. Uh, the the. I think there were some people here that I'm the only person here. Oh, one person's back. <laughs> anyway, I'll just introduce myself uh, quickly. A quick uh, commercial break, you could say. Hi, it's Philip from OnlineEnglishTeacher.com. Uh, I'm a UK native speaker, and I've been teaching English online starting from about 10 years ago. Uh, and I've started teaching the IELTS online from about eight years ago. So uh, maybe I shouldn't call myself a specialist, because a specialist kind of knows pretty much everything. But you know, really, I've started. I've taught and taught. Um, although I guess there's still new things to learn. Okay, uh, so I won't call, perhaps call myself a specialist, although maybe some other people could. I don't know. What should I say? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, I won't now. I won't today. Right. Okay. Um, so uh, the next tip for the speaking exam is uh, don't speak at super high speed. Actually, we were discussing this last night. Um, don't speak at super high speed. Um, I mean, it's it's just like you know. I I think I think it's like minimum at minimum at a minimum it's very risky, like and um, I think you know you must be. Uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, <clears throat> uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so basically, yes, don't um, don't speak at very high speed. Uh, so basically, uh, at a minimum, you are risking, um, uh, you know, you are risking um, like just seeming very unnatural. Uh, so basically, uh, most native speakers we don't speak at super high speed, and if you do, you know, it just it just looks like if I was I'm not an arts examiner, but I think if I was an arts examiner. And someone was speaking at uh, super high speed. It's kind of like they're just trying to trick you. I, I mean, I don't mean that in a bad way, but I'm. But you know, maybe they're also thinking, well, if they speak very fast, that would just give the impression they're super confident or something. Basically, all that will happen if you speak at, su at super high speed is that you will probably make more mistakes faster and be harder to understand. Um, so I don't recommend it. You know, basically. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Uh, right. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, this is Philip from England. And if you have a question about uh, the IELTS exam, please do. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, please do go ahead and ask, and I'm happy to answer. And um, I first started teaching the IELTS online about uh, uh, eight years ago, I think, approximately. Maybe one month, uh, something like. I think it was about eight years ago. That we'll give or take one month or something, approximately. Maybe it was May. 2009 or something. I'm not sure. Or maybe it was earlier, April. It could, it could have been eight years. Anyway, so there we go. Uh, right. If you have a question, please do go ahead and ask. Otherwise, I'll keep on giving tips from my experience for the last uh, eight years, teaching quite a lot of different students. Really. Um, okay. Uh, the next tip for the speaking is uh, make sure your pronunciation is clear. Um, so. Um, you know, just make sure that each word is enunciated clearly for the uh, uh, for the uh, you know pronunciation. Um, that would be obviously important. You know, you want to make sure as far as possible you're sounding like a native speaker um, uh, for the uh, word uh, you're trying to say. Um, okay, there are also other areas of pronunciation um, in English. Uh, things like uh, uh, word stress. So if I say the word present, that's a noun. The stress is on the first syllable, present. If I say present, same spelling, it's a verb. 
uh, the stresses on the second syllable. Syllable means the sound. Present, present, two syllables. Okay, sorry, I was just uh, disconnected there. Uh, so uh, present is um, uh, present is uh, two syllables, and you want to have the stress on the first uh, syllable. So um, I can give a link for that if anyone wants to to uh, work it out uh, to review that. Uh, here we go. Uh, so that's the link for word stress. So do check that out. And also, in English, there's a very interesting topic. Uh, these are all from my favorite website, uh, EnglishClub.com. Um, although, I always liked it. It was kind of easy to understand, I thought, even for myself um, and, um, and all students, of course. And, uh, yes, there's also center stress. There may be, I don't know if it's got more complicated or less. I'm not sure. They've been redesigning it. Anyway, so also in English, uh, there is something called uh, center stress. So, uh, for example... Uh, um, if you know uh, the, the sentence can be, "Will you sell my car because I've gone to France?" However, the, we don't speak it like that as native speakers. We'd say, "Will you sell my car because I've gone to France?" Duh, 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 duh. So basically, sorry, I'm not trying to sing here. I'm just trying to show uh, the rhythm. So uh, basically. Um, the uh, some sentences are um, uh, yes, yeah, so so some words are high priority, some are low priority. The high priority words we kind of say quickly, and the low priority words we kind of say quick. Uh, sorry, high priority words we say uh, slower and with um, kind of stronger emphasis, and the lower priority words we say uh, faster with less emphasis. Okay. All uh, right, it's just some people joining the free forum. Uh, I'll put the link uh, in the. I think this is really going to be a uh, review webcast. I think I'm, I'm sometimes I'm the only person here. So, <laughs> right, okay, uh, right. So here is a free forum. Uh, I don't always answer here. However, I can kind of put stuff there, you know, tips or whatever. And also there are other learners. Right, okay, uh, six more minutes, uh, so uh, let's go ahead. Uh, another tip for speaking exam. Uh, another tip for the speaking exam is, if you don't understand the, the question, do ask. You know, it's not going to help if you, uh, if you guess the, uh, the question. You know, if you guess the, uh, the question, they, it could be a lot of different questions, right? So who knows what's going to happen. Okay, a uh, quick uh, commercial here. A commercial break, as I'm the, certainly as I'm, I'm the only person here at the moment. Uh, this is Philip from England. My website is onlineenglishteacher.com. I'm not waving my hand generally. I'm trying to actually. I was meant to be pointing in the uh, direction. I'm not sort of waving at everybody here. <laughs> okay. So anyway, this is my website, onlineenglishteacher.com. Oh, I'll give my Skype ID also, and uh, my email. So if you're interested in skyping me. And my email, I, I do have, I, it's not just paid resources, also there's some free resources like free ebook, free forum, which I don't kind of post, I, I post them, but I'm not kind of answering everyone's questions, otherwise that's all I do for free. It wouldn't be economical, of course, for anybody in the world. Um, and yes, anyway, so I have free resources, free ebook, free forum, which I don't, which I post them, but I don't normally, I don't reply, well, sometimes maybe reply, um, but lots of other free material. Uh, and also I have paid services like Skype uh, from my website, hang on, which way? Get a bit confused here. Right, so so there we go. Uh, uh, oh, my fingers are getting that way. It's back to front, right? Uh, sorry, I'm not trying to be too stupid. Uh, right, there we go. That's better. So, <laughs> onlineenglishteacher.com is my website. And, uh, hang on. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, right, don't worry. I haven't gone mad completely, or hopefully, after teaching English online for 10 years. Right? Okay, as I sometimes say to my students. Uh, right, okay, so anyway, uh, yes, uh, my website is, oh, there we go, That's, I need to go kind of get used to, oh, my camera's in different directions, so I need to know where to move my head, right, there we go. So my website is onlineenglishteacher.com, and this is Philip from England, my, oh, I'll give my uh, Facebook uh, business page, it's, here we go, uh, let me see here, how am I going to do that, I'll try and put uh, uh, equals, hang on, try again. So you can also just follow my uh, business Facebook page, uh, Facebook 
uh, business page. Okay, so if anyone wants to like or follow, or you may know more about Facebook than me. Um, right, okay, very good. So, uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, right, not many questions coming in. In fact, precisely zero today. So I don't know, sometimes I had more people come in, but never mind, people can watch it on replay. Okay, uh, right, so I'll probably try and finish at about 30 minutes past. So, uh, the next uh, tip I'm going to give, oh, I have a message from somebody on Facebook, and it's in, okay, oh, I have a, from Sheikh Talal, oh, it sounds so important. Uh, right, let's see here. Oh, hi. <laughs> right, thanks for that. Uh, uh, I will like that. And where are you from, Sheikh Talal? That sounds very important person. Um, Bahrain or something was it? Uh, oh, Bal Balwopar. It's from uh, Pakistan, right? Oh, okay. You seem a very important person with a name like Sheikh. Um, uh, I don't know. Is that, is that important? I don't know. Right. Okay. <laughs> Right, uh, next, uh, next, so anyway, the point I was trying to make is for speaking. Try not to make super short answers, you know. Um, you know, it's, 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 it, obviously it's not like a police interrogation where the more you say, the more trouble you may get, right? So I'm trying to, actually, just, I've just moved my webcam, I've got, to, I've got to remember where it is, right? There we go. So there is, it's, it's there. Right, okay, and uh, next comment, uh, comments from Sheikh. Uh, Tell me listening tips. Okay, um, right, okay. I'll just finish this and I'll give a few listening tips and then I'll wrap up quickly. Uh, so, um, yes, yeah, so don't give very short answers. Um, the next um, uh, tip um, I will give is if it's a difficult question, don't speak like a super long time, you know. Um, about it, and uh, of course you need to answer the question, but uh, don't um, don't speak like a you know very long time about something you're going to find difficult. And also um, try to answer on a topic which is easier for you. Uh, so basically, if let's say they say talk about one of your favorite hobbies, now you may say you may think well scu I do scuba diving it's very interesting and unusual sport, and you're obviously correct. However if you play football, for example, you're gonna, you may know a lot more vocabulary about football. It may be much easier to talk about. So, make things easy for yourself. Don't, don't kind of set yourself a challenge. You know, I'm going to speak out a really difficult topic, because if you do badly, um, it's you know, it's probably it's most likely going to affect the grade down. But, you know, if you can't speak about it, well, that's uh, part of the uh, grading process, right? Okay, uh, right, okay, uh, so that's coming to 30 minutes, so give some, uh, a few seconds under, uh, about 10, 10 seconds under or something. Let's give a few quick tips about listening. Um, first of all, uh, understand the exam, understand the different uh, question types, um, the, and the format, there are four sections, and, you know, and, some, and the, the dialogue sections with the amount of people, etc. Just look through that, uh, research that, I think maybe my free ebook, if you search for my free ebook you can ask me for that IELTS ebook if you google IELTS ebook and it'll be online English teacher at all it'll probably be in there or a link to it um, also understand the grading process you know how many you need to get to get correct follow the instructions very carefully um, get, do lots of practice exams I think it's very important um, and uh, oh okay oh excellent thank you uh, someone has liked that I think I I'm not completely useless at uh, Facebook. I think I know what that means uh, by now. Uh, right. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, where was I? Yes. So and also read ahead. Try and anticipate the questions. Um, so um, basically, you know, try to try to anticipate the questions that uh, that maybe that maybe hap that you know, like if the question is uh, talk about your favorite. To, uh, uh, what is this person's favorite car? You know, you know, you know, you're going, you're going, to, you're going to need to be listening out for a car. You know, so uh, make a uh, make a note uh, for that. So that's the word you're going to be listening out for, etc. Um, you do have note paper. Uh, I'm not quite sure if you can, un from memory, if you can underline on the question paper in listening exam. Um, but uh, in any case, you have note paper. So, um, but um, I assume you can do. But anyway. 
Okay, uh, there we go. Anyway, you may need to just double uh, double check that. Uh, okay, another uh, tip is uh, get used to different accents. You know, um, it's a British exam, obviously. However, you may get Australian in the theoretically, as far as I remember, I've checked that out one or two years ago, and they're saying from the arts website, it's something like you may, uh, you know, get different accents from something like you know North America, uh, British. Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. I'm not sure that was something like that. Um, okay. Uh, anyway, okay. Uh, there we go. So something like that. So basically, uh, the, the just to summarize, uh, try and become familiar with the uh, with the exam and the structure. Uh, listen to different accents. Read ahead. Make sure you follow the exact instructions. Uh, do lots of exam uh, practice. Um, and um, also be aware that you have 30 minutes and 10 minutes to transfer the answers from the note paper to the answer sheet uh, at the end. So, you know, and uh, you'll obviously become familiar with that so doing listening exams. I don't think I've done any listening exams for quite a while, actually, some maybe uh, uh, years. But I've been teaching the IELTS started from about eight years ago. So some areas I kind of maybe get out of practice a little bit from or something or teaching it so much with different different students have different uh, requirements okay thanks a lot everyone this has been philip from online teacher.com my email is info at online english teacher.com skybiddy ielts online english teacher and um like my facebook uh send a message anything like that and have a great day thanks a lot bye